All right, hello everybody, welcome. Uh, it's Tuesday, which uh, either means cards or Slay the Spire at this point. And I decided to do Slay the Spire today. Um, partially because it's just been on my mind all day. The Slay the Spire board game Kickstarter showed up today. And it's, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's, it's Slay the Spire, but a board game. So, that looked neat. So, today we are, uh, traveling into... Orbs. <laughs> this is the one I decided to do today. Found a new way to orb. Jungle Cave. How would Slay This Fire work as a board game? Literally exactly the same as the card game. Uh, well, I say literally. It's co-op. You, 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 uh... I'll wait for them to release the digital version. Yeah, it's a good idea. But, like... We can kind of quick talk about things as we go here. But if you think about, like, what you have access to digitally in Slay the Spire, very little of it needs anything other than decks of cards or, like, a single dice. Okay. Oh, good God. Oh, my, oh, boy. Okay. Hey, President Arc, thank you for the sub. I've played Death Cells a bunch. I just haven't played it recently a bunch. Alright. Strike. Defend. It does make Slay the Spire an indie game, I, I, I think. Well, it makes Dead Cells an indie game. Does that make Slay the Spire an indie game? I have to... Alright. Throw your left orb. Okay. Throw your right orb. Okay, so orbs. 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 So. The juggler. Oh. Yeah, so we're, we're. We're going to be throwing orbs. I think we're going to be juggling orbs. I see. Um, give me that random comment, Relic. Sure. Bronze Scales is never wanting to turn your nose off at. That's free damage. All three. Right. Is a three path in here. Three is the line. Um, it's got to be this way for the U, and then I probably do. And there's a, there's one right there, and there's a decent chance he'll have like a little bit of money from the start. So. Yeah, not a lot. Like ninety nine isn't gonna be too much, but. I'm saying that you might get Cards. very lucky and get 175 in that next event. It's possible. Do you have we get like remove your doubt? Okay. Oh good. Oh goodness. Okay. Glass ball. All right. Powder ball. And iron ball. Okay. That doesn't look iron. So. Grip improves the power of the ones you're holding. Focus improves the midair one. So... I should get one focus for this being in the air at the end of the turn? 
That sounds right. Let's see what happens. Okay, one focus. Okay, throw. Throw glass. And then I caught this orb so I get four grip. At the end of the turn, I'm going to... Well, your next attack this turn deals four more damage right now. So if you attack now, you deal more damage, I believe. Yeah, for the, that's from... That's from... The glass balls... Uh, no, that would be if you catch it. Okay, never yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you throw right and, like, exchange them to get the mid-orb bonus of the iron orb... Okay, so then we All got the right, now the up. next one should be damage, uh, extra damage, right? And then And now because there's a mid-air orb, it'll deal 3 damage. It's all enemies and that's improved by focus. And my next card that blocks will block for plus 4. Mm -hmm. Is it the removed next it card. End removed it end of turn. Okay, that will... turn. That's what I thought, yeah. Okay. Throw left. Okay, so we've got... Looks like our grip went down at the end of the turn. You lose half your grip at the end of the turn. Okay. So if I go high throw, right hook, that gives me four grip. If I throw left, that'll give me plus the defend, and then I'll get the mid-air ball. Okay. Agnimi, thanks for the sub. So we have this, like, over the very silly mini game of you know orbs and I'm certain there's going to be a ton of cards that, okay yep and they ground trim thank you very much for the sub as well yep okay so it's starting to turn gain six grip that's the catch Whenever you throw left, add one throw right to your hand, and vice versa. Deal six damage to all enemies. If you've caught an orb, also apply one vol. Huh. So it's like a, um... Thunderclap, but only if you've already done orb stuff. And this lets you go back and forth. Like, if you throw left, you get a throw right. If you get a throw right, you get a throw left. And uh, the upgrade on this makes it innate or cost zero? Cost zero. Zero. All right. I mean, I like that, personally. And we've seen throw left and throw right. They're cards that cost one that just are throw up the orb draw. Right. And fundamentally, all throw means is that the left one swaps plates the midair one. Or, or And that just keeps happening if it's the same throw. If you throw left, then it, it's the left one swaps with the, uh, yeah. the midair one. And if you throw right, the mid-air one then swaps with the right one. Yeah. And grip is the power of the catch effects on the two balls that have, like, plus yeah. block or plus attack, right? There's, there's Grip is boosting catch, focus is boosting mid-air, is what that is. Because if we take a look at our... Oh, well, we can't... One of our orbs is defense orb. It gives block... Yeah, the it's iron in, orb is block, and the glass orb is damage. Yeah. I'm not going to this. This seems like an easy enough thing to work with. Alright. Come on. Gain doubt. D uh, regret. Well, you have a thing to do at least uh, on that I, shop, I, even if you don't have the money. Yeah, and I'm not gonna, yeah, let's get the relic wide. Wide. Ornithopter. Okay, that makes this relic free. Hello. You want it? You want it? You want it? Whenever you throw right, throw right again. Huh. That's weird because that basically means that if you throw right, it it stays there. 
Right? Yeah, but, like, it it doesn't but, it, move. but it triggers the grip of both. Yes. But it basically means that you you pretty much can't uh, get the midair effect of the right orb ever. Yes. This is our obvious. More line. or less, there might be there, there might, might be, be a, like swap. There might be swap your like, orbs. Left and right. Yeah, there might be like swap left and right, and that would do it. But so, what did you do with the the music? I don't know. This, I, um, is this just part of the juggler? Maybe I've added two mods. Um, they are visible at the bottom. It looks like it's just okay. The and neither of those yeah. don't shouldn't you do it? So it's probably just the juggler causing. I think it's just the juggler. Yeah. Which I'm fine with that doing its thing. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Um. I'm gonna go with a strike first. Uh, you have two extra attacks, yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. Let's get something good here. Immediately getting rewarded for back smack, at least. Yep. So. You throw right first, you have caught something, which means the back smack will apply the vuln. So your strike will become stronger on the, uh, the main one. But yeah. at the same time, it means you're not blocking anything. Well, no, you will because the iron ball will gain the two block. Yes. Uh, so I go throw right. So the right. might not do anything, but you can defend and block all of it anyway. Well, almost all of it. They're only taking one. Okay. They probably. Ow. Okay, here it's going to be better to just bop you. Um, I guess jugglers just are associated with lax tunes. You don't really have to worry about your health anyway, because you have a... Whenever you use that wide fire potion... Make it's going to gain you 10 anyway. Yeah. I'm just getting used to the... Throwing? Throwing, and like what throwing does. Alright, you can win this turn easy. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Holy shit. Why is Draw no one... four, discard three at no... random. That's how have we not had this in any other mod? I feel like people are just Some... very, very gun shy about discarding sure. at random. It's it's never a popular mechanic. Remember I, Remember I know, in Hearthstone there were warlock cards that did that, and I think eventually they actually just changed all of them because people fucking Every, hated everyone it so hated much. everyone hated all of them, yes. Yeah. Um, like even the ones that were genuinely strong cards. Magic is like the only thing that still does discard a random, and even that. Believe not that really. it, it, it never. It, it, it's it, like I can't think of a recent card in the past like right, ten years that has discarded a random attached to it. Just like the, the trick. I think is there the, might have been like a Ravnica Demir card may have done it. The and trick, like, that's the best I could do. Like the trick is that like Goblin Lore was printed in tenth edition, uh, <laughs> and that's how it's modern legal. Um, yeah, and that's what yeah that's what we're looking at here. Um. Uh, what, what was the the set with the rights in it? Um, rights of refusal, rights of uh, spring, and all of that, and the fact that there is like the the red one, which was <laughs> the instead of they all had something that was based off of discarding cards, but the red ones were discarded at random just because that was just how red was. Mm -hmm. It's like here. it made all of them unplayably bad. Yeah, it sucked. It, it, like it was, it was the. Like balance or whatever on them, but every it made every red card that needed to be like a threshold card just or like that had a discard just like terrible. Um. Well, the problem with Soulfire was that if you had two Soulfires in your hand, the first one would discard the second one one hundred percent. 
I can guarantee mm -hmm. that. All right, and then we go inside out. If you were playing Soulfire, you were playing some form of Warlock Burn, which means it needed all of its soul fires. Okay. We have the damaging one up. Base of damage here is pretty bad. <laughs> let's just let's leave. Increased by dexterity and focus, so better block. Replace your central orb with black. Oh, okay, interesting. Interesting. So you can actually like change your orbs to be specifically all the same kind of orb or something. Yeah, if they're all. If they're that all black is also a very high power for power for you know one. It's One interesting because glass ball is sort of a drawback if you're all glass balls, because glass yeah. glass ball is gain a focus in the air and gain a gain four grip on the the land. But if they're all glass balls, you have nothing that uses focus and nothing that uses. But you still have the, the focus. Your focus won't do anything. It, it just increases. It, no, the, the glass ball I think is the one that does the damage. The powder ball is the one that increases your focus in midair, I think. I thought it was the glass ball that did that. I don't know if I can do this. It's a little dangerous, but um... yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I I've lost more runs to that than I'd like to admit. Okay, glass ball is the damage ball. Okay. Yeah. So, like, if I just go... What so actually is that when they're all glass balls, glass ball increases the grip one, I think, right? No, that's powder as well. Never mind. Yeah, this just takes some getting used to. Gah-gah! All right, so we want... Double the damage dealt by glass ball. Okay. And now we have ways to create glass balls, so... Put it on the glass, as they like to say. I should pass the first two turns, right? Yeah, just gain your grip and just don't care. Or rather, your, your focus. Yeah. affects the grab. When you catch, you get plus something. Out Whatever. Of yeah, it... Long short of it is that focus affects the midair effect of a ball and uh, grip affects the catch effect of a ball. So I just want to strike here because I don't want to toss that ball. Yeah, you don't need the defense. And that does eight now.
I wonder if the juggler music was made by the, uh, like, actually made by the person who did the mod. Right. They don't recognize this at all in Same. any way. It okay. was made by the author. Neat. Okay. okay, that's cool. Okay, um, high throw turns on. All right, what do we have in deck right now? I'm just gonna go in. Run it down. The less turns you have to deal with it uh, attacking you, the better, so. Oh, that's so close. That was, I guess at that point, that should have just been the defend of them. Oh, well. Oh. Those are some nice payoffs. That's, that's enormously good. That's plus... That's healing you 22 and adding 12 to your, uh, your HP. Yeah. Barrier weave. Oh, hold up. Lock is not, that's so you get X blur and you gain the X block. Yeah. And the upgrade on this is huge. I mean, the upgrade on it just turns it into for free um, dodge. That That's the, the silent thing, right? Right, which, which is why I, well, it turns it into a slight, it, it's four instead of five, but. Yeah, there's also a way we can use the, we can, um, we have an orb that ups this block number. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll have to upgrade it pretty quick here, but... Okay, obvious. Time to drink the juice. a hamster. True. So if I go... A shame to your discard pile, draw two cards and reset your orbs. Oh, interesting. That's wild. Training Wades just gives you plus five grip functionally. So it is, is the shame you, you drop the orb? Looks like it, yeah. <laughs> that's why you have. That's why you get reset. You have. You have three new orbs you have to pull out. Uh, I certainly did, Cuttlefish friend. Uh, it it looks like Slay the Spire as a card game. Like, every, it, it, it's 
with the exception of the fact that one, it's co-op up to four players, and two, the numbers are are filed down to like strike does one damage. It everything else is one hundred percent exactly what you think it is. I. I mean, honestly, it sounds kind of fun to like yeah, to do I'm, that. It the, the, I, I, I'm down. I don't say that as a bad thing. I say that yeah, as a, a, a strength of it. Um, yeah. You know, you you get to an elite encounter on the tree, and you fight the gremlin knob. And when you feed, beat the gremlin knob, you get the lantern as a relic. And the lantern says, "On your first turn, you have an additional energy." And you're yeah. You're playing the silent, and you have se- a seven card hand on your first turn because you have the bag of. Like everything is, and I'm playing solo <laughs> as the silent, and I don't grab any new cards, and I die against the Lagavulin because <laughs> mechanic mechanically cannot win that fight. I wonder if you can mechanically not win that fight on the on the tabletop because the the mechanics are obviously going to be. Yeah, and they'll. I mean, they'll, they'll touch them up, so I'm assuming that you definitely can. Yeah. We're gonna dreadful showing. That just sounds fun. Now I wish you'd taken that doubt. I know. I now I feel bad about that. Okay. Um. I found out, by the way, why. Um the rate of Toho character mods is slowed down. Why is that? There are three different entire uh, Slay the Spire Toho character like games that are being made right now. <laughs> <laughs> three different ones. I see. One is Chinese one, uh, and two are Japanese. Chinese one's actually already playable, it just doesn't have an English translation yet. They do plan on making one, though. Okay, that's cool. Sorry, let's try that again. <laughs> My orders are back to normal. <laughs> you shamefully dropped the orb. I dropped the orb. Uh, your random discard actually starts to work here as a, as a mechanic that, now because of your, of your curse and that, your desire for curses. That was my thought process on picking it. Yeah. Because now I can go, like, high throw, swap that. And now I need I need an attack, but I have a bunch of inside outs to try to find it with. Yeah, so. Okay, that's healing. Mm-hmm. Here's another card that I don't think we've ever seen. The the, the, the smallest version of Iron Wave? Yeah. Because I've seen one, two, and three for Iron Wave. I'm, I'm like, actually, you know, slash dash. I'm super interested in this because our deck has the zero draw fours. Sure, yeah. This gives us something that's possible to do. And, And yeah. both of the orbs, when we're swap bopping them, um... Like give you Increase plus the block effect or of plus. Those. Yeah. yeah. Um, we should be fine doing like, this because we have a, a draw billion. I know of a, a class that has gain one, deal one, but also like two other effects, like draw, discard, and like another thing on it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, let's try that one again. a barrier weave right now yeah then go for it like that that'll give you some time to uh to like not so okay yeah um throw you don't you don't have throw right specifically on hand so you can't gain extra block off of that right but i can at least get the focus off this and then yeah so you just leave the the powder ball in midair for now okay so then we go It's actually better to go defend barrier weave. Uh, that depends on how many turns you want of the block. Two turns it does get you a little bit more. Yeah. 
Because this would be three turns if I do it now, but three turns here, where there's no way that 14 block will stand, right? Right. So this gives me 15 block. Bring your own uh, horn cleat. Yep. And this is usually a 14 is the base maneuver. Draw seven. Okay, that got me back smack. Plus a sandblast. And that's big damage. As long as we have glass up top, like, we're okay as far as, like, being able to have enough incoming damage to take out. Okay. Well... This should be enough. Next turn, we use our you tools. Need to deal, you need to deal um, 18 damage here. Yeah, You've so got the can... Sandblast and right hook. You're good. Yeah, so then back smack and then... Okay. Reasonably clean. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. These are cards. Ooh. I like Palm Left more, personally. Yeah. That's a good upgrade, but... Same, I like the focus, especially because if we're doing double damage with the glass ball, the more yeah. we can do with that. You you can kind of... This is actually kind of a question of do Ooh. you focus in more... Oh, nice, that's, good upgrade. That's what we wanted. Uh, that's a good question of, like, do you want to focus more on the mid-air quality of glass ball or the catch quality of glass ball? Right. And we're... With the... With the hamster, we kind of want to focus on the mid-air quality. I think you're good. Yeah. Oh, the palm lift eye is uh, it's directly oh. on where that orb was. Oh, thank you very much for the sub. <laughs> Why evoke when you can just throw glass at the enemy? Indeed. Sand. That's what exactly. it is. See, sand. Sand. I love sand. That's one of the most heinous lies I've ever told. That's that's uh probably just gonna put up defenses here. Uh you could I think break it into halfway so it'll split. I mean like all it's doing is it's gonna frail me again. Like if I just put up defenses, yeah. it's gonna be like Do I like to palm lift first, at least to get the one focus? Actually, let's go palm lift, throw, barrier weave. Because now we have the, by the way, this is all enemies. Mm -hmm. So Dreadful Showing becomes draw three when it's upgraded, right? Yes. Nice. Oops. So we want to throw right orb. That means Switch V will do six damage instead of... Uh, instead of uh, two, I think. Four. Never mind. Yeah. It doesn't but... matter, though, because it just cares about what attack happens, so... And then we inside out to go try to find, like, maybe a better attack here. Yeah, like a right hook. That's that's All the right. end. Yeah, you just you can just pass the turn and win. Yeah, because focus only affects the the reason that focus is like easy to get in here is because it doesn't affect like all orbs. It's only the mid air orb. Yeah. So if I just go ahead and hit that turn here. We do that.
Dreadful showing will turn Sandblast Zorbs back to their starting form, but that's okay, because Sandblast doesn't, uh, you know, go away. And it also doesn't, uh, reset our focus. Yeah. Which will be fine. Mm hmm So it's like, that's actually perfectly fine to have that happen. This is funny. Like, you know, if you're not caring about your focus, if you're caring about more grip, this is something that's really good for you. Yeah, but of course for us, we between these focus. two, Sandblast is just a better card for you. So. Yeah. Perry's not bad. Perry's um, okay, yeah. I mean, that's just a better block, more or less. How much, how much block do we have? I mean, we have like a bit of... We actually defense. have a decent amount of block already. Yeah, you I'm can not, just skip this, probably. I'm going to grab one more Sandblast just as a 12 strength, you know. Mm -hmm. My dad, 50 health plus the 5, we're fine here. Ooh. Oh my god. It's a log of Ulan Skull. All right, nice. Yeah. The art on this one's very nice. It, it fits the, the original aesthetic of Slay the Spire quite well. Yep. Part of that is because a lot of these are actually just altered versions of Deepex, you know, cards, but still. Yeah, so draw three under at full showing. Um, looks like most of our upgrades are just plus three damage. Like, we don't really have anything. Yeah. Um, ooh. Well, that's plus four. It's better That's than better that. than the other ones. Yeah, it's like this is plus one plus one. This is plus three. This is dreadful showing or your inside outs are probably your be your be actual best upgrades because this they increases the cards that they draw. It makes these actually positive in cards. Yeah, as um, opposed to being card neutral. Yeah. It's high throw. High throw upgrade. upgrades to be draw three as well. Draw three next turn. Okay. Um, I think I want access to heavier damage, which, yeah. All right. All right, what's your boss theme? Palm lift upgrade is just plus three damage. It is the same as the a lot of the other ones. Yep. Oh, we wanted it to be another focus, but obviously. Pretty easy turn or just also barrier weaving this turn, likely. Yeah. In case we could, I'm into it. Mm. It's okay, I'm practicing. Okay, we got some defend pluses. Those look good here. Each point of focus is very valuable. Especially because, like, we could just swap over to the the block orb if need be. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sandblast plus in here. And back smash. We could just so knock you, you out, right? Like. Yeah, I think so. Cause like that, Vuln on that that sandblast plus is how fucking high? It's ridiculous, right? Like 24. it's twenty four. Yeah. So between that and the other sandblast, you. You were straight up done. And then it deals another eight. Yeah, we won't get that eight because of the, the armor from this, but. All oh, right, yeah, I forgot it blocks when it swaps. Block and swap. We're at half health and we haven't taken a hit. It has always been a little bit fucked up that the bronze scale effect on the automaton is different from the thorns you get off the bronze scale relic. Correct, even though it's the same. Like, this is whenever receiving attack It will damage. only happen once, 
on uh, on the bronze scale effect on sharp hide effect on the guardian, yes. which means that if you play whirlwind, whirlwind, even though it attacks X times, you only get it get hit back once. Every other thorns in the effect in the game doesn't work that way. playing around the iron ball in air there but like we've swapped over the okay good to know that but not like that wasn't necessary that was me sort of like trying to defend a, a, a full mm -hmm. um swap orb and then I think I'm just gonna your glass deals 12 now dang we're just gonna put a block here Yeah, we're at plus four focus right now. 20 damage incoming. Juggle AI re-engaged. Juggle AI. Um... I know. Yeah, you, you, you does, it's not necessary to do. Oh, a rare instance of <laughs> it was it's no, in yeah. the defense mode, does not have the thorns yet, and it has um, this is just turned a whale on it. Ball. I'm willing to bet you're going to go and reset here. Yeah, that's why I'm not. Okay, if you do... Well, I mean, you've actually won already, but... Yeah, we, we went on. Even before you did that extra attack, you actually still would have won, because uh, you would have won on Thorns. <laughs> True. That looked like we were in danger from like being at that low health, but that was a choice to not spend this potion. Like we could yeah, have. Yeah, it just wasn't that bad, honestly. <laughs> Apex Legend. Ooh, an ape leg. Now we're talking. Yeah. Catcher Central Orb one time, then trigger its midair effect. Okay, so that that means it just activates bolt. Ooh. Oh, that upgrade. Ooh, that's a really lot. good for you, actually. <laughs> oh. Interesting. So this so is that like turns a... the glass ball thing into a a, a, a per, like strength for that turn. Yeah, this is like a, a grip liker. Like we we saw that power that's like plus five grip every turn. That yes, was, that... and you combine these together, and you can get like really high damage. From catching glass. I feel like ape is ape leg. I think is your your go. That that's going to be a lot because like with, with that, that upgrade, this is that going been to thirty two damage. Exactly. Yeah, thirty two damage for one. That's ridiculous. Again, and we can even like fix it around where it's like, oh, if we want it to be like plus two focus or uh, hmm. block, it can be block. Portal fist as well. So completely generically just powerful. I mean, Seven damage to all enemies twice, but putting a void in the yeah. 
Yeah, like, this is a strength Laker card. This is a card that is really good with the momentum pump because it's a double hit. Mm -hmm. And then the drawback is, like, because it puts in the discard, it takes a while to get there. Some decks will never even hit it. All if right. the deck is huge. You, you're going through your deck at lightning. We're going through, yeah, because we're... All right, we, we can't Iron take Dome crown. is pretty free. Yeah. Bark is also pretty nice if you wanted to go full potion Laker's plan. It's true. We have Ornithopter. Um, it could be super wild. Um, I kind of like this with us already having like, the ability to draw a bunch. Like, yeah, I mean, I like Runic Dome the most, too. Like, the, Runic Dome is, was, is my actual suggestion, but mm. going all in on potions is kind of fun sometimes. I'm really excited by, the, like, this, just this thing having its own music. I think that's really neat. I think you can get three again? No, it's just two. Yeah, so we're taking... Right, hold on, let me three, four, five, six, seven. I think no matter where, which direction you're going, you're going five, through a lot of fights. Five, six encounters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven encounters. Yeah, they're all kind of bad. Um, seven, but you get to go to a shop's probably your best bet. The, the alternate line would be like, give up to the, not do. The two elites and take like this line that does you know that one might actually looks have way better in the overall yeah um still this, requires a lot of fights though still, still yeah, pretty... that, there's no good line down here is the problem I will right, we'll, we'll make the choice when we hit this spot well, actually hold on hold on hold on go back down because I think that the, the one on the right is slightly better in the form of you saw on the far right one, two, three, four. Uh, it still has the same number. Four, five actually. fights. Yeah. It does end on five fights. And of course, any of these question marks could be a fight anyway. Right. This is a better line. I think the far right path is the best for like pacing of the of the like. Of this, and especially if you go to the right to take that shop instead. Yeah. To, the shop on the right. Yeah, if I take this instead, then I think the right hand side is better. This, this is a tough one. Th this is, weirdly enough, the most unpleasant map layout I've seen in ages. Yeah, we're not looking great. Um, okay, we definitely want upgrading that. We're assume we're taking... The, the, like, double hit or whatever here. Oh, yeah. You're taking five times two when it's healing that damage. Um... really want to upgrade this really fast. The card's okay as it is, but it really needs the upgrade to be better. Mm-hmm. Once it is upgraded... Well, okay. You could actually just do it, play it right now, and gain a focus and, a, and some grip. Yeah. By the way, hi, uh, this is a lot better when we have this throw in the hand, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's playing downfall. Yeah. Um, okay, so if I, this would throw left orb. Focus. Swap to that orb and defend. Oh good, it was just the hit for 10 instead of the, the double. Well, whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. Barrier weave gonna be really not... Yeah, we just barrier weave here. Look at all that block. Yeah. Now we can just play offense. So we go high throw. Inside out.
throw left and gain five, or just that, that works too. Yeah. I'm just gonna take the, I wanna take the, uh, we have enough block here that Focus. we can able to hold for a long time. All we need to do is draw into mm -hmm. the right hook to get us into our damaging orb. You are at 12 again already. That's pretty good. Oh, we're back to... You've got throw left right there in your hand. You don't have to care too much. Yeah. There's the good stuff. And... I guess switch feed actually lowers its switch gets us eleven damage. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that's so high throw into switch feed does a lot. It does about the same damage, except for it gets us a focus on the next turn. Mm hmm And we still have three turns of blur. <laughs> yeah, that that card is extremely good. The, the multi block, that is a very good get. Okay, and here we can just go like palm lift. Sandblast, 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 sandblast. And even if that didn't win, we had a 16 power orb. Four bounce. Palm drop. The crush. Replace your right orb with a powder ball. Huh, your right orb. That's usually what our right orb is anyway. This is actually cute. Because this is the art for, um... Uh, uh... Plus two warp slots, right? Or, actually, that might be plus the one, the other one. I don't know. I, anyway. I couldn't tell you. More zero costs don't sound too bad. Um, even though this one kind of runs out of... Steam. I also don't hate this. Uh, that zero cost is good for the first three times you play in a, in a fight, basically. I mean, I'm, I'm playing a card that says two and two, right? Like, yeah, so, like, it's honestly, even that, at that, pretty decent. Yeah. Hey, buddy, you're, you're not winning this fight alone. Um... Dreadful Apex... You attack on turn one? I think you do. This should be five X two. Yeah, okay. Flexible, this all feels. Yeah. Like, we're going it to, like... It feels know. like you're juggling. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of neat. Which one's... Iron Ball is the... Base uh, one. that increases your next block when you catch it. Okay. actually going to go ahead and agree with that. You might want to mute the music until an, an elite encounter. wonder if there's a setting to, like, change it, you know? Not sure. Uh, catch Iron Ball. Into 
debating if I care about that. Here, what I can do is I can check if there's a... Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. By popular demand. It's just that in this area, it's it's been a little grating. Oh, I'm still thinking on this. Oh. I feel like you're not going to have your Iron yeah. Ball a lot of the time on this. Yeah, that's the main. I think that's a neat effect, though. Every time. Every time. That just gives you more chances to draw cards. Also, hell of a good one to get. <laughs> also, yeah, every time, right? Like, yep. Oh, they're here. Hmm. hmm. Hey. hey, I hate it. Hey, <laughs> what's wrong? Is, is there is there a problem? I uh, I personally dislike it. Oh, what, what what's wrong? Hard to put my finger on it. <laughs> I think it's mainly the fact that it sucks. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually into it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't see the problem. Okay. Esports. Esports. Okay, here we are. Okay, now we're back to set. vulnerable yet. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. But oh, that actually counts for this. Yeah, because you caught something. Yeah, yeah. I, I did it didn't move, but you caught it. Oh, so that makes that compounds your uh, your grip up. Yes. Basically, is plus three grip whenever you uh, on on it turns it from plus four to plus seven. Throw a random orb. Okay, then we're taking the old lead here.
Okay, and now we don't know if we're just taking one million damage or not. It's like seventy percent. Yeah, there we go. Okay, um we want right hook. Okay. <laughs> we tried. Up, oh, yep. Again, most frustrating enemy for this. You just have no idea what what'll happen. It could be anything. Um, it has a high chance of doing the things that make sense for having taken out the gremlins, but it's never guaranteed. from here on a random hand. Yeah, it's this is just ape lag and then you're good to go. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh wow, a second yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. This turn. Damn, this is, that's still busted as shit, though. The fact that that's pre-upgraded, though, right? I, like, yeah, yeah. Circle Sight is busted. I, I want one for the deck, but an upgraded ape leg, like, that's just... Yeah, I want to say most of the time the rats, the rat parasites, uh, just get bigger. So. If your right hook, now right hook does, uh, juggle your, yeah, so you, you'd want to throw left, ape leg, destroy the one in the back, and you still have plus 12 block, I think, off of the barrier weaver. Actually... If I go right hook. You don't kill the fungi beast with the. It'll, it'll die to the thorns is the idea. I guess, yeah. Ape leg. Now the oh, next card I, the next card I play gains plus 12 block. I see. <laughs> Seems all right, I guess. Cool. And then hopefully you're just attacking. You blow up and you give me a Vuln here, and the Vuln doesn't matter because it's the wrong time. Okay, um... Back cross, back smack. Is that out for a real attack? <laughs> yeah, this is busted. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I don't care about the discard one card. <laughs> okay, okay. Taking 21 on turn one, that's how this enemy works. So, like, if I go throw right, you know what? No. Later. <laughs> the snake plant is the most extreme version of the enemy that just hates you. Just does 21. The regular enemy that just hates you on uh, Act 2. 
We're 87 health. This is probably the point where I'm fine picking the Sapphire Key. The Strawberry is the weakest of the HP up relics anyway. Yeah. Okay, and then... I think Ape Leg. I think so. This is, a, this is the hugest upgrade. What are you? You just go to 6 damage. You go to 9. That upgrade's, like, fine. Um... Some point I want to floor balance upgrading is actually very good. That, that co dwindling nine is a ton for a zero. Yeah. All right, let's get this ape leg because this is like plus two focus, plus a bunch of grip, just like flat. And right, we're gonna get like one combat out of these three, I'm sure. We have a sh we have a. There's shop. a shop right there, and also you don't care too much about. Well, regrets the. Regret is one of the three curses you do definitely want to get out of here. Yeah, but. we don't want to, like, hold on to that forever. Um... about what I was <laughs> glad that was what I expected. There's regret. Um, certainly is an awkward hand for that barrier weave. Still might just be the play, even though that's lose so much. I, I, oh God. Too much off that. That's the heal. It's fine. <laughs> okay. So this is just go wild. I'm, I'm still going on these zeros. Okay, here's our other non. Here's our fight. Bronze automaton. With this, we're probably fine going in old tad. Gene 6 grip draw card. Exhaust card draw 2. Throw a random order, ban 3 random or throw out to your hand. Then 8, 14 and weak. Ethereal gain 3 votes, gain 18 damage. Oh, goodness.
show off is really free. And adding grip strength isn't bad. We keep flipping between. Especially with, um. Adding grip strength with, um. Ape leg is really good. Yeah. Okay, that didn't come upgraded. I was gonna say that, that should have been upgraded by our egg. You want it? You want it? Oh. <laughs> it's yours, my friend. Okay. Get regret out of the deck. I'm not. I'm not holding on to that. Um, we're probably grabbing the pair. None truck is really good. Truck is nice on decks. Sundial is certainly good with the deck we have going on here. Down the bones. Okay. Corn cleats. Great. Um. Happy Flower is cool. Wing Boots lets us get all the elites in Act 3. You want it? It's yours, my friend. And we can buy Art of War. Though we're probably not using that. It's yours, my friend. Let's just save our cash. You think a 26 card deck would hate Sundial, but again, um, this card is wild and I want more of them if I can, so. Art of War says gain an energy if we don't attack on a turn, which is super unlikely in this deck. Like, we're super heavy on attacks. The only turn that would ever go off is a barrier we've turned, which is, like, fair. We could do that. Um, but, like, we have, are super heavy on attacks. I think I'm going to save the money for another shop in the future. Alright, let's get... Let's get the inside outs made. Alright. I'm sorry, what? I'm not throwing my right arm, I'm holding this up. If we get a plague, the game is over.
Okay. So you want to know how to kill the... Oh, no, a plague. Okay, so let's go... Inside out. Throw right. What's in my yard right now? Could just grab that inside out again. to step away for a bit to clean up after my cat who threw up everywhere. No, uh, we, uh... We had some, some happenstances occur. Oh, um, yeah? Well... Oh, or... Okay, I see. You know, with our, uh... With the courier as well, so huh? So we bought... <laughs> That's a lot of things to have bought. <laughs> I'm uh, down for it. We also... I used a power potion, which gave me a uh, solar form. Solar oh. solar form says plus two to the midair effect of powder ball. Oh. So uh, I currently have that's, twelve focus. That's pretty good. Oh no, we're, we're reset. I guess I better a plague. <laughs> hmm. Seems good. And then uh. Okay, cool. Anyway, that's gonna be 40 damage to all. attack gets plus a million damage. So let's just use switch feet. That's free. Um, throw right. Now oh, the next defend is a million defend. Uh, multiplexer, get rid of this. Go ahead and grab... Swap there. Floor bounce. Inside out to draw some more cards. Oh, look. And then we'll turn our main orb into a glass orb. And... <laughs> well... The end of the fight. <laughs> Seems pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Foreign taste. <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, that whip. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> The only problem, though, is that while this is a good effect, this feels too expensive. The thing is that when it's active, it makes our our Apex Legends so strong. I mean, sure, if you want to go for it. it... Because we have two of them in the deck now is the other part. You're right. I, I think it's a little expensive. 
There's, you know, Forte's we have, is so funny. This is such a hilarious card. How do you evoke him? Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is, imagine all of our, like, you know, we have all of our uh, uh, focus from, like, you know, the big orb, and then we just do this, and then, like, we have the dark that just sort of sits there. I'm like a solar farm there. That seems fun. Only the catch effect of your powder balls? So that means I only get two grip and stuff four? I That's really... probably still fine. Yeah. Black Star is also, like, sweet. We have we have boot wings. So, like... That's true. That can give you an extra three relics. Yeah. That's tough. This is a really free, at least for our build. If we were, if we were yeah, like, if we were doing grip stuff, which we have seen the, we've seen a lot of support for. If we we're doing that, we, this would be something we probably couldn't pick. Um, I, I think the more exciting pick, honestly, is still Black Star. You are, you're at four power, which is good enough. You're right. I'm already like not spending all my energy in some turns. Mm -hmm. Shit. Time. Son cops. of a bitch. Okay, you can get three. Although I think you can actually get, only get three, and you could have done it without the this boots. Is just the line. You can use it to skip some encounters. There aren't even encounters up here. <laughs> well, do I, your best. <laughs> oh, sure. I'll I'll switch the music back. We'll see what. Oh I yeah, to see what it's like here, uh, up here. Yeah, I should have turned it the off. The first, balls. the first act's uh, music was fine, so it was just the second act so far. Enable custom music. Continue. Wow. Wait, I get to. <laughs> All right, we'll just take the route we know. Yeah, this is already less grading. Um. draw there it is that's what you were looking for right that was yeah your pick? that's the draw of draws the gain 48 block real quick nice nice i'm gonna swap because it gives us a draw too So I want to go... So I'm not worried. I do want to upgrade that because three is a little much for a turn. Okay. Um. Throw left. Back to back. Sand blast. damage this one enough. That's all.
Zorch. <laughs> Ooh, more card draw. Yes, please. Uh, wait, how close is the nearest shop? Right in front of you. And we have the membership Membership card, so card. you can afford almost anything. I think we have to pass on yes. this. Like, if the, the shop was not literally right in front of you, that wouldn't actually be that bad to take there. Favorite triangle. Do you have a favorite triangle? I don't. I don't either. They're this not is... even round, and they don't taste like anything. This is Who just even wild, cares though, about triangles? Right? Yeah, it's a... that's definitely very good. Yeah. Uh, how about another multiplex? This card's stupid. That's on sale for 15. Sure. I'm good there. Do you want to have to deal with big men? You've got a 50 damage. I've got a 50 like, damage potion. Yeah, you got a powerful potion. I feel reasonably confident in big man fight. Um... Throw right. They're all gonna get mad the first turn, so you don't have to worry about blocking on the first turn. Yeah. Music of this act is reminding a little, me a little bit of uh, Ice Pick Lodges the Void slash Turger slash Tension. The game that they made after Pathologic, the first one. Oh. Yeah. But before Cargo, the quest for gravity. Yes. Which was a, a hell of a, a um, what do you call it? Uh, a, a whiplash of sorts between those two things. This is awkward looking. I think you have two ape legs in your draws soon. That's only playing one skill in exchange for a ton of block. Yeah. This is the many big men encounter while Ampex. It's four knobs. It's a larger than usual encounter. Uh, the, the real scary part, though, of course, is because this is how many of them there are. Uh, if, like, the top one does the Volton strike first and the other ones are doing the big strike. Okay. 14, or 16, 16, 16 is what it looked like. Was okay. The... That's actually fine. That's not a big deal. <sighs> you're going to need to do a lot of damage this turn. Because I think you're going to be getting a ton of... Um... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Of all your orbs for flash right there. Okay. That's going to deal damage and increase your focus. It's going to deal damage of eight. Okay, they all happen simultaneously, I guess. So that's 16 damage to all. You gained one focus, making sure that one of those up top, that'll deal 10 damage to all. If you get the okay, glass you know ball up on top. Sweet. 
Do that, and then we... Ape leg to kill that one on the bottom. And we get an energy. Multiplex to get more ape legs. Or even a glass, actually, a sandblast. Because that can, um, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know which is best for you. You're dealing 10 to everything right now at the end of turn. So if you grab the ape leg, you can deal 30 to all. Um, if you deal... Th and you've got two strikes. Two strikes. That means you've won. Yeah, so you've won. we just go... Hoofa! <laughs> Dangerous. Hi, Giria. Giria's nice. We have a ton of bonfires in front of us. Mm -hmm. And you can even prioritize going th to them with the... Uh... Add a random throw card to your hand. I don't hate this. Uh, you can... Jump shop, jump here. Two of those in a row. And then that's and it. And you can actually get all three strength pretty trivially. Yes. One, two, three bonfires plus a... Key. Yeah. Developers could be good here. Probably want to get rid of that. The writhe is it's a pain more of a detriment than a, yeah, because it's it shits up your opener is a big issue. If it was an injury or something, that would be fine. Big god, cool. This one's one of the best we have because we can play a ton of cards in a turn. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, whatever. It's annoying, but that opener was like just a bunch of basic cards, so what the hell was I going to do with that? Mm hmm. You get to just continue to um, get powerful because you get palm lift dreadful showing as well. Because of horn cleat, you don't really need to block this turn anyway. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, six, huh? Six focus on turn two. Normal. Apex Legend will not be affected by slow, I think, because I think slow only cares about attack, attack damage, damage, right? Attack damage, yeah. Yeah. Their sandblast for Voln and slow nine. Okay. 
the grip is actually really powerful here. Mm -hmm. Because, like, it's, it's multiplied by, you know, these... Oh, it's... Volleyball. Um... What an awkward looking hand. You got the two multiplexes, though, uh, so you can, like, repeatedly do something. Yeah, I just don't know what. <laughs> More basic cards? Right? Like, we have 20 cards in tank, and there's only two basics left. They're just tied to us. Um... was a pretty normal number of that to have. Uh, you want to just do that again? Actually. So much focus, wow. Ex mm. Come on, pop me on the Come head. on, man. And it is time. I are <laughs> Calcum. You're uh You're never doing anything. You're never doing anything. Oddly smooth stone though, I'm not gonna like. Yeah, I wouldn't turn my nose up at all. Thank you. Stone. Nice. That ain't bad either. So I'm like another inside out that's already upgraded. Uh yeah, please. Alright, then I want fire. Um, Solar Format 2 is might a little bit more powerful than the left, yeah. Yeah. You can lift the for your third strength in the uh the right before the, the heart, you know? Yeah. I would recall right before the boss fight, I guess, yeah. Sure. Oh wow. Yeah. Never saying no to a lantern. We've used our boots. Okay, so this is a million. Um. You're looking forward to offending the time cops on turn one? Yeah. 
This is free. Sure. A hundred, well, 91 damage? Yeah. 91 damage, yeah. 91 damage, and now we have a full yard. Triggered on skill plays. Damn. Because I got a loop multiplexer, yeah. Wait a minute. This is a deck where the sundial actually triggers. It's, it's unreasonable, but true. Well, that one's not happening. Turns of retain. Okay, let's go show off. All right. So then here we can go. Lift to. We can probably afford all of these. You want to go for all three? Yeah. Uh, you don't debuff, like, ever. No, I kind of don't. I'm not skipping any. I'm just sort of looking. Jack of all trades is a nice one on upgrade. <coughs> Impatience can work. You do go through your, your attacks pretty quick. Yeah. Overall, kind of a weak sweet, though. The important thing, though, you generate the three. You don't actually have to take any of them if you yeah. don't want to. Like, good Back instincts is, is probably a certain card here. Because like, yeah, we, we good draw instincts the, is good. We draw into zeros pretty easily. Um, Dark Shackles is also pretty free to include, honestly. That's, although at the same time you, I mean, at the same, it's fine to include it even if you if you're on. Uh, yeah. Um, Runic Dome, because we have a rough idea of where things are and how they go. I really like that. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. Damn. Uh, this is worth three strength. 
Oh shit, right. Okay, that's actually better. Yeah. Sadly. Fusions and souvenir together are too good. Yeah, I would love to pick this, but this is worth three strength. Mm hmm. Alright. Sure. Purely through the inter through your relics alone, you're going to have a character in like that doesn't even interact with strength all that much. No, I, I, you're, you're going to have a character who has seven strength starting off every single encounter. It's not like I don't have things. There aren't things in the class that interact with strength. We've seen um some of them. Uh, I mean, attacks all do. But. Well, I mean, like we've seen multi hits to be able to use the the grip. Yeah. We, we but that's not strength, that's vigor. You know what I mean. Yeah, 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 like, but like, obviously strength works with those. But those aren't yes, cards in our... Yeah, weirdly yeah. enough, those just aren't cards in our deck. Like, <laughs> Yeah. God, Ape Leg is wild. It's a really, really good card. Like, th there is an equivalent of that card in Defect that's... Oh, hello. That's kind of hard to play. Uh, interesting that the, the throws do not have... Upgraded form. I was, period. That was, that was what I was wondering. We were gonna see or not there. Mm -hmm. Like maybe those went to zero or something, but. But when I say not interacting with strength, realistically what I mean is that none of your relics that are from this class, none of your cards from this class generate strength. It is purely from base game relics you're getting up to seven. Yeah. I guess if you get offered, like, for example, at the end of this this fight right here, if you get offered that attack that's like deal seven damage to all enemies twice, that actually yeah. be a really good pickup just for the raw amount of damage you're going to be doing off the strength alone. I'm back live again. Because of this thing that whenever you catch four times, we get a, a, a energy. We're able to do some absolutely wild long turns. Hmm. Which again? Ooh. Oh, this has a really interesting interaction here. Nice. Nice. Uh, which again, of course, is going to get you get in trouble with the time cops immediately. Oh yeah, the time cops are going to be actually a problem. They're probably going to be tough, yeah. I'm a little worried.
you're all a little late. Omomori and Wide Beast statue. That's funny. Alright, so we have to grab. You gotta grab the, uh, the key here, yeah. yeah. And then you can lift on the final. Yeah. Alright. I mean, Pantograph full heals us, so. Oh, it has the 2 2 a warning that it's going to go back to that at some point? Yeah, okay. that, it, gives, it tells you what turn it is, or what the health is. Okay, um... Ideally, you want to go to 12 every single time. Anytime that you don't do that, you are going to be waste, like, taking more damage from the time cop. If you multiplex is your last card in a turn, you don't actually have to discard anything, do you? you no, know I don't. However, right now, I'm going to take this at six. Because that was the best block I could do there. I think it only does the draw minus once. It does Most it like, time, at least. It, it does it in its rotation a couple times. Yeah, I just don't know what the rotation of the full on time cups is. Oh, on throw right. Terrible. That's 11. 10. 10? Ugh. Basically, I want to draw my stacking block next turn. Yeah. That's actually a pretty decent incredible. combo of the things. That that works well enough, right? Like so Dark Shackles and Ape Leg Apex Legend is a perfectly fine turn to do this. Because that's how look at all that focus I'm building. Yeah. And the grip. The grip also matters, so. Yeah. Player's so tiny hit. Okay, so now we go... We just start playing. We're probably going to 12-card this turn. Yeah. Probably Apex Legends again on the uh, on the focus. Hmm. There it is. Uh, you're at six right now. Um, God, if I could get into the grip swap there, that would be so good. That crosses throw a random one, right? Yeah, it throws a random one. I guess I should throw it. Yeah, because you have, you have okay. 50 50 to get the, uh, the. Yeah, there it is. So now I need to get this orb down on anything. So do we go draw five? Okay, we discarded it, but we have multiplex. Okay, so then I just pocket search. Yep. Which throws a random orb. I don't care, because we just care about the grip. Yep. Then we go... You can Apex Legend again, and then multiplex and uh, draw it. So pick you up. Currently 28 times a million. 28. You uh, can play Apex Love Legend, then it, and you will generate. Well, I guess it actually doesn't change. It the doesn't change what we generate. Right. But it does give you more focus. Yeah, but it gives me a lot less block because this is like a hundred block. I think I can do this and then just play any card. Sure. All 
All right, you're at 126 block with four turns of it to go. Yeah. Incoming big hit, but like, sure, cool. Uh... Anyway. <laughs> okay, so under 228, so this turn is like a fake one. Unless you can deal 222 damage this turn. We'll see. It, realistically, this is just get to the 12, so you can really go hand next turn. Foolishness. All right, so when you draw Apex Legend here in a second... Um, well, when you draw Apex Legends here, right here on yeah. this card, that's not named Apex Legends, that's Apex Legends. That's uh, 62 times 2, and on top of that, also, your Sandblast is going to do a million damage as well. Then we can just inside out and draw some card. Oh, wow. multiplex again. Yeah, but we, we don't have the apex in the yard anymore. I guess. You want to have an attack. There it is. This class is wild. It has some very <laughs> interesting play patterns. Like, right? Like, it's very non standard in how that they feel. Yeah. Like, we're, you know, it, we are playing based on Pet Hamster, right? Like, you, you can see that right here. This would have it doubled our damage output on this. And so, like. Oh, you know what actually this reminds me of? I just realized this right now. You know what this uh, class reminds me of? What's that? Unstable draft. <laughs> <laughs> You're cranking your, uh, your contraptions every turn. A hamster nibbles the ball. Mm hmm. It feels like juggling. Like you're juggling your, your yeah. gloves back and forth to make them do weird, wild stuff. All right. It's time to place bets. It's such a legit, my favorite class. Understandable. This one's such a outrageous one. Because, like, what we saw, what I, I really enjoyed what I saw, too, in that, like, there are certainly other plans. There are yes. strong looking up. The grip plan. With the fact that you didn't focus in on grip at all and grip was starting to really pay off anyway it's yes. like clearly making sure that that's very very strong yes um and like being able to play heavily like okay maybe we use the the powder ball or we 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 play more defensively or we you know like we have a lot of options on what we're doing mm -hmm. but yeah but yeah place your bets everybody what do you think this one's going to end on uh, he has some killer jokes, like the card that just gives you all the <laughs> T-Rank corpse. Yeah. <laughs> that card is, like, perfect. I know we didn't pick it, but, like, just the idea of, like, ah, whatever, back to orbs. You know, like, it's honestly a strong card, too. Like, So, all right. I see a number of bets are in. Many lots. You can't enter twice with the same number twice, even if it is the gamer number. <laughs> you already got it. <laughs> That's trying to win twice on the same thing. You juggle the nice. hunt. 971. That is TK way can't. lower than I was expecting. TK mm. can't has it almost on the ball, 969. Yeah, only by two. You have 35 cards in deck, and you've got a giant row of relics. I I don't have perfect to the backup, sure. though. I could have swore you did, but I guess I was wrong, yeah. I think all three boss fights were not perfect and even saying that we still have 971 mm -hmm. and over q has a um 19. i did miss a good chunk over, of the middle so. the middle fight if you had gotten all of the perfects this would have been um Outrageous. 171 
which would have been incredibly close to the guess that I made. Yeah, well, if we, we got eleven sixty four. Well, if we got all three main perfects, we would have had the uh, perfection beyond perfect. That's why it's plus two hundred. So it'd be eleven seventy uh, seventy one. Yeah, you know. I'm right. get. That's what I'm getting at. Like, if that was the yep. case, that's would have that would have been why I. Uh, right. I we, went for the number. But I we did. did. We didn't. Ha we didn't actually have any perfects. In one, we took that like big twenty hit. In two, <laughs> we were taking some small bops on turn one and two. Oh, okay. And then we get to. Finish lifting. Yeah, there's, and we get a sixty gold shop, which normally is nothing, but like. But you actually could theoretically buy yeah bag of prep. Bag of prep in this sounds really sweet. Bag of prep is like one of the best relics you actually could get right now. Actually, it's like chemical X is the only one that would have been better, and we already saw chemical X a while ago. Holy I think and we couldn't get it. You got oh. boost power. Is that better? I don't think I don't think we need it with the apexes in the deck, but like imagine a Chemex deck now. Like, yeah, exactly. I think I think this is better for setup. Bombs. Bombs. Rope. Ample. Bombs. You want it? You want it? Anyway, here's our plus seven strength. Okay. Um. Thinking, throw right. Throw random. Glass on top. Now we have block for one minute. Mm -hmm. Seven turns of uh, nine times seven, so yeah, sixty. This is what difference. juggling sounds like. The reason why it's very stereo is because you, uh, you know, you go bring, bring your orb from the right to the left and back and forth. Okay, so I wanted to apply foam over here. That's what I was after. So close. <laughs> okay. Means you can just ignore. I the can thing ignore back it. Now. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. Um. So now I want. All orbs are, are damage orbs. 
Draw glass. And just juggle a bunch of marbles. <laughs> Take the block instead, because we know when like there's gonna be turns where we're gonna want that. You know when the uh, the, the heart attacks. It's there's two turns guaranteed every time. Throw a random horn. Quiet. Oh, well, on the other hand, um, All I, I actually don't know which of these is better because the thing is about this one is that uh, this can pay off really hard. Yeah. Like you, you don't even have to have it to be up on top, and you can use the the power orb. It now. doesn't say central. It says yeah. Yeah, all. Because you could have more than one, so. Alright, um... Pretty... Bury your way from the opening. Can't really do anything with that. Bury your way from the opening means you could just use it, get the turns off of it, and then just, like, have your potion activated immediately. Uh, or if, stuff like that. If I go... That gives you plus four, and then you swap it again. No, then we Apex Legends. I see. Oh. Oh, that helps a lot, actually, yeah. That gives you one focus and four grip. Okay, so then I play Apex. <laughs> Then we high throw. To catch it again. And now you have five turns of a hundred and... Uh, nine times five is 45, so 145 block. Anyway. Seems pretty good. We can probably figure this out from this position. Mm -hmm. Let's cycle through some inside outs. Um... I quiet and is already paying off, I think. Yeah. That, that was a card that's quite good for you, it turns out. That does nothing except for that This one that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do yeah. anything. Alright. 150 block. Break through it. It was on you to kill me. 164 block. Alright, um. Easy. Start with the grip. You don't need the blocks much anymore, so sandblasting up your, uh... Yeah. Get to, to replace the that with the glass sounds good to me, personally. Then I'm gonna throw orb. I'm gonna leave focus orb up for a little while. Yep. So we're going to take sense. either a bunch of damage or yeah, whatever. Oh, no, I'm at 102 block left. Calipers would be good here. <laughs> There's solar form. That was what I wanted. Yeah. Uh, you have two Apex Legends in your um, discard right now. Okay. Just strike and uh, and just take the the more focus probably yeah. I think we keep building up the focus for now because what we want is that focus to be high enough that when we do apes they start breaking like, high damage. Yeah. This is a strength turn. I should if I play uh, dark shackles I lose the game. So don't do that. Oh, right. It's uh, the, the overcompensation on the strength thing. Correct. <laughs> it sets, because I believe what it is, is that it sets its strength to plus two, but it still has the minus on it. 
which means that it, it would it go immediately from immediately uh, goes to plus seven. It would go to seventeen. Yeah. yeah. So whatever you do, don't do that now. Um, it is an interesting. Um, probably was a bug at first, rather like an oversight that they just left in as kind of a gotcha on the heart. <laughs> The heart is kind of full of gotchas to begin with, if you're, like, not... Because that was kind of a big thing. I remember when the this update mm. came out, a lot of people actually didn't like the heart fight. Uh, I know people who still don't even, like, ever try it. They, yeah. they, they, they think of it as a bonus that they never... Yeah. They just don't do. Which I understand. Um... It's very punishing, is the thing. It's very punishing in a way that a lot of the rest of the game isn't. So I get it. Two multiplexers in our hand here, huh? Get a grip is um that that card that uh, that you just played is actually quite good as like a pseudo Apex Legend. Yeah. Pocket search, that's the one I was thinking of. And that generates more energy. More energy because it was a throw. There it is, okay. That card cost zero is real ridiculous. I'm so happy that right? this has been real. Yeah, it, I, it, amazingly, this card three at random has not been that major of a drawback. It's honestly been fine. All right, so now we're leaving. We're at the point where this is the main orb for now. Yeah. You are also at the point where this is the final turn in which you're a blur six around. That's why I held this potion. Mm -hmm. uh, it didn't do the big hit, right? So that means the next, this next turn is the big hit? Yes. Got the shackles, but you also don't have... You can't break through its artifact before that. Big hit is 62 damage. would break that and then Vuln would break one yeah. of the two Close to heartbreak. <laughs> nice. You have the other strike. The, the, the this does sixty eight damage. That was gonna heartbreak anyway. I see. Fair. I didn't want to like heart heartbeat myself to zero. Mm -hmm. Um. Can we just reset the? Calendar. Completely forgot about calendar. Calendar. That was an up uh, heartbeat to two turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Yeah, what a class. It's very fun. <laughs> Unique art? Wild. Orb. Zorch! I enjoy that her body's like a log of wood and a baseball. Mm hmm. Yeah, perfect one, and that was the heart, because we ended the heart up. Full. Well, you, you took damage during the heart fight. I think that was actually the, the time cops. I ended it full. You I, took two damage during the heart. You used a potion that increased. Yeah, I was gonna say the potion. Okay. Yeah. I was like, how does I end at ninety-seven though? But yeah, I have the mm -hmm. the potion. But all right. Well, like past turn one, we didn't take any damage once we got off the uh, the wild bullshit where we had one million block. Alright, is this a full reveal class? No, it is not. So we still have a lot of cards, actually. Drop trick, dust screen, hard pass, iron maiden, squeeze, toss. Arrow of a sigh. Okay. Huh. Clear cut. Cocoon. Pump iron. So a ton we Clear didn't cut see. cut is important, apparently. Lose three focus, start of your turn, draw two. Okay, so this is the... I hate orb. I, this is like, you only care about grip strength. Yeah. Yeah, the upgrade makes it zero. I should let it shit. It is a two-cost two power that reduces the cost of a random card by one whenever you catch a glass orb, <laughs> is what clear cut does. So that would have been absurd. We would have been doing set up. Uh, hmm. 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 We, we, like, I, I, do, I know I shattered it out, like, twice. Um, Shoutouts to draw for free. Mm-hmm. Like, Even so, if it has discard cards at random, turns out this is actually a pretty good card. Because it's card positive, or card, I mean, yeah. card neutral in the sense that it's four to three, like, the reason Tybalt sucks... Is because it's card Is because it's, if you're going draw, discard at random, and you gain nothing. Yep. I mean, it's card... <laughs> it's functionally card negative because it's draw, discard at random... You gain nothing. You win zero with an extra downside if it was a random discard. Yeah. But then here, once it gets to five cards, and also based on, like, us having zero costs where we're able to play this late in a turn and still be able to, like, switch feet, floor bounce, you know, some little bits are still active. And then, like, you know, we can keep rolling. Very fun. Very fun. What a cool class. I'm just throwing this out here, though, of course, as always, is that if you took Tybalt the Fiend Blooded and then you removed one uh, red from his cost and just added discard a card at random to all three of his abilities, he'd be even worse, but it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that was that was this. Um, as a couple people had mentioned, there's also a, a Kickstarter for a Slay the Spire board game that, like, you can tell just looking at, like, the reviews and the stuff, it's very, like, finished, polished, it's been tested, like... A lot of Kickstarters for that kind of so, thing are literally just for, just, hey, we can't afford we can't, to produce this without yeah, your help, so... If I, like, it, so it, it opened this morning, and... What is it at if I go pull it I mean, up? it goes for 30 days on Kickstarter, right? No, it, so. it only go, it's only up there for 17 for some reason. Weird. But it, it the 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 goal was 50,000, and it's at a little over a million, so. Well, okay, then. It's Slay the Spire <laughs> is one of those games that's, like, very easy to <laughs> underestimate how popular this right. game was. 
Slay the Spire is a is a was a Mondo mega hit, is what it was. Again, how many games are Slay the Spire, but like, it's not, it, like like not, not like Slay the Spire with a coat of paint, but like, how many games have pulled from Slay the Spire, like in how you play? Like, this is a game that has a a branch offshoot in all of like video games. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to throw this out here that this game came out in 2019, which, man, well, that's official release. It was in early access before then. Yeah, Slay the, Slay the Spire. Uh, Slay the Spire was. Uh, 2017, I think, for early access. Uh, early but access. I'm, I'm just pulling oh, yeah. this up because uh, all reviews on Slay the Spire overwhelmingly positive. 100,906 of them. On Steam, that never happens. A <laughs> hundred thousand reviews. Yeah, but yeah, it, it released fully in 2019. 2017 is when it, uh, like, came out, and yeah, boy howdy. <laughs> it's like it's very easy to underestimate how popular this game was. It, it, so it, it, it the fact it, that it went to from fifty it went. A million dollars already on the Kickstarter, and it's going to get, have like a last minute, you know, pitch as well on top of that. Nice. But yeah, there's a... the beta art is always good. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Borker. There's a like one of the like way past the goals is like you get a set of cards that all are in beta art instead of normal art. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I, yeah, Slay the Spire's been very influential for I got 2017. I thought it was older than that. I I thought it had been I, I thought it had been in beta for longer than two years, but then again. It was in beta for a long time, but remember that time before the before times was longer and it's shorter true. at the same time. Yeah, you're right. That's it was a different yeah. time. You're right. The times were time were different. The times are different now. Time is what time is and no one can control time. How many how many hours have I gotten out of this? Uh this has gotta be my second most four hundred and fifty hours. Wild. Uh, I feel like I, I've gotten too much when I've played 270. It's my third most played game, but my second most played game is Lying. Uh, oh, yeah? Be because Eternal Card Game would fail to close a lot of the times. It would just be on for 40 hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That, that's why my Eternal is so ridiculously high as well. Yeah, so it's it's FF14, Slay the Spire, Dark Souls. <laughs> Makes sense. That's... Go figure. Yeah, Eternal Card Game says 556 hours as well. That's not that's not true. No, it, that's def, that, that was I played that game for probably like legitimately around 200, 250. Yeah, I would, I would I would put mine at probably like 150, maybe a little more. But like it, it had a thing and I remember for a long time where if you closed it, it didn't actually close the executable. So Eternal Card Game really loved your first two sets. Yeah. And your third set was OK. And then just uh, they're all like 12. Well, now. what is <laughs> I know. Um, I know that there was actually at least one in there. It's like, oh man, the game's good again, like legitimately, but yeah. Hard I, I couldn't back get in. back into it at that right. point. Yeah. So, I'm very happy to find another like just high quality, very fun, very well designed uh, mod in mm -hmm. here. So, all right. Uh, thank you, Doc, for joining. Uh, no problem. I've been winding down <laughs> from. From the hell three months that I've gone through, that have actually been good things, but have been very stressful good things. There, I'm, I'm glad you're through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you everybody for joining. If you want to catch more, you can always follow. See when you're live. Uh, Seven Central on weekdays is the normal time period. Um, thank you to everybody who subbed today. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, and if you want to catch uh, what's going on. Uh, throughout the week. Tomorrow, Dragon Warrior Wednesday is the end of Dragon Warrior 1. Uh, we're going to be doing the end of the Game Boy game, the end of the NES title, and then taking a look at the speedrun on the NES. Uh, which will then translate to starting Dragon Warrior 2 the following week. 
Um, Thursday is the end of Hollow Knight. Uh, and Friday should be some Netrunner, but it might be magic. We'll see. <laughs> There's... It depends on how um, schedules line up. So, anyway, thank you all mm -hmm. for joining. Have a good night, everybody.